Hello, Brenton with All Out Acting here. In this video, I'm going to open up a mail call. So this thing is pretty sweet. I had described to you guys that over Christmas, I had gotten this as a gift from my father. And it's a bunch of sticky notes on a really cool little palette. And I was trying to find out a clever way of displaying these on my desk because it's just a really cool way to do things. And I had told you that my brother-in-law works at a John Deere dealership. So what that means is at a John Deere dealership, he can get discounts for all the, all the things, basically, at a John Deere dealership. One of those things is diecast. And so he was able to find me, which is basically sold out everywhere online. And he even got me a discount, which is awesome too. This little, sorry for all of the cardboard stuff and the paper. That was probably very noisy. But he was able to find me this 320E skid steer. Isn't that epic? This thing is so highly detailed. It's amazing. And I'm super excited to open this because I believe this one also comes with the fork attachment. There it is, fork attachment, which will hopefully be able to hold this palette. That is the goal, that is the hope. Even if it doesn't, this thing is epic anyway. And so we're gonna go ahead and open this because why not? All right, so it looks like it was opened, maybe. The tape was cut. All right, let's go ahead and try to pull this out. These things are highly detailed anyway. Uh, I know the hydraulic hoses need to be hooked up when you kind of uh, put them in. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. There's the machine itself. And look at that, it's got, uh, let's see, it's kind of cold. All right. They got plastic all over that. All right, maybe that's what's holding it back. The plastic. Oh, because the plastic is holding in the door. So the door can open, uh, but it has plastic keeping it from doing so at the moment. So let's go ahead and see if we can cut that, or at least get that out of the way. Hmm. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and cut that. Sweet. Oh man, these, this thing is cool. So this is actually my second one. I don't have the, I have the track loader. He got me a track loader before, and now I have the wheel loader, which is really pretty cool. And I do believe that there are, the side panels are down here for the engine. <clears throat> Let's see. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and slice that open and I'm really excited eventually here to play the farming simulator if you guys have seen that video as well I got a farming simulator from my friend clay and hopefully I can get that on my computer soon in order to be able to play that okay there we go there is the bucket and there are the forks Slide that out. Nicely done. Ooh, cool. The forks are plastic, which isn't a bad thing. Wow, that's unfortunate. They're kind of flimsy. That's kind of silly, but I guess that makes sense because you don't want to be able to have kids poke things with a metal piece. But let's see, will that line up? Oh, that lines up perfect. Yes, that is epic. That is going to work perfectly. So I'm gonna just go ahead and poke a hole in there with that. And then that should be able to slide in just like so. And it will be able to hold the pallets on my desk. And I'll figure out the rest of this as I go. But there we go. So there's the little skid steer. And I do know that this articulates, like I'm almost positive it does. There we go. Now it articulated properly. Stick the pallet in. There we go. Hey, that is epic. Oh man, I'm so excited for that. That is so cool that it'll be able to do that. <laughs> ah, it worked. 
and I'll be able to get the panels like I said. So let's work on getting the panels out and the bucket. Let's do that. All right, so I'm trying to figure out now how to get the bucket out. Although I guess it's just cutting more tape. There we go. Well, that was simple. So the bucket is all metal, but the prongs are plastic, which is again, kind of a bummer considering that's hard on the pallets or the thing, but it should be able to <clears throat> hold it that way, I hope. Yeah, I mean, that will hold. I'll probably have to find some way to prop it up of some sort, but it is pretty cool and it's balanced nicely, so it will hold that. All right, and let's see if we can get these arms to articulate up and down, because I'm almost positive they do. I have another one, like I said, that does. <clears throat> it's just a matter of figuring out how to do it. Huh. Okay, there it goes. Just required a little bit of strength to go down. It feels like you're gonna break it, but <clears throat> it's not going to break. There we go. So that moves. I should move back up. There we go. That's what I needed it to do. Slide that in. <clears throat> be able to hold that. So let's put the panels on. Okay. Panel. Yep. That should be how it goes. Panel on this side. Should be how that goes. There we go. Skid loader has its panels on, side panels. So that looks good. So you can access the engine. Again, this will come down, <clears throat> which again is kind of nice and the prongs are up. And now it will hold that. I think I got it angled up as best I can. Yeah, there we go, yep, angled up for all the weight distribution and put the pallet on. That is going to be so cool. I am so excited to put that on my desk to be able to hold the little pallets because it holds the pallet with the sticky notes. That is epic. Super excited. So there you have it. There is a John Deere skid loader with the pallet attachment. Again, prongs aren't metal. If they were metal, that would have helped tremendously. Uh, because then it would be able to hold the weight of the pallet, but I'll figure out some way to do that. Here it is with the bucket attachment though, so you guys can kind of get an idea of that as well. There's the bucket, and it will go up and down quite easy with the bucket attachment, which again makes kind of makes sense. If you do have hydraulics, it will have a hydraulic arm, uh, and it does come with things that will plug into there if you have hydraulics. Uh, I guess I could show you that. <clears throat> Again, I have a skid loader with tracks on it. So this one, same size, it'll fit the same attachments. So there we go. Here is the auger, and you'll notice that it comes with hydraulic lines. So you just place those into here as such, and it will act as hydraulic lines. Oops. That one jumped out. Okay, for some reason that one's not going in, but you get the picture. That's how it would work. And then there's an auger. You'd be able to lift that up and it would do its thing. So yeah, there are a bunch of different attachments. Now I have two buckets, I have an auger and I have the pallet, but the pallet is the most important part because that is what uh, will fit my little sticky pad of sticky notes from this Uline company. 
And now I can actually interchange the forks to the skid steer as well. So now I have two skids, one with tracks, one without, two buckets, a fork, and an auger. That is pretty epic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Like I said, that's oh, it's just so cool. I can't believe it worked. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe a little better. I wish that the prongs were metal, but at in the same, same regard, that works perfectly. That looks so cool. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, have a good one.